Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Mandela Van Peebles about Reginald the Vampire on Sci Fi. Welcome to the show, man. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, thanks for having me, man. Appreciate it. It's crazy because the first thing that kind of comes to mind is this is definitely a genre bending show that has like the laughs and it's got the, you know, the gore, the spooky season aspect of things as well. You know, there's such a big appetite now, though, literally for like vampire content, for horror content. What's it like working in the sphere knowing that there's such a big appeal for that stuff right now? Oh, it's great. I think being an actor, at least in this day and age, is a fun job because there's so many different content platforms and even the accessibility of something's not out there that you want to be out there that you want to watch that you want to be a part of you can even make it yourself you know yeah you can find things on an iphone you can do you know a paranormal activity approach so it's really opened up the space creatively and i, I think with all the technology it's it's awesome. When you started working on, like, when you worked on Jigsaw and, like, actually got in kind of the horror thriller genre, is that when you started kind of realizing, like, wow, this is, like, people love this stuff? Or was it even before that as well that you started noticing that? No, no. Since <laughs> I was a young, young lad, me and my brothers would love to watch horror movies and see who could be the toughest. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's been a thing since I was young, you know? Yeah. Um, and then Jigsaw, you know, having the opportunity to, be on a major, actually the biggest horror franchise to date, if I'm not yep. mistaken, mm -hmm. um, saw franchise breaking into the the horror industry like that, and then realizing how much fun it actually is being behind the scenes as well. It's I, the uh, best. Yeah, it was great. But and I Reginald, grew up, I grew because it kind of straddles both worlds in a bit. You know, yeah, it's not hundred percent. It's there's yeah. genre bending components to it for yeah. sure, which is yeah. crazy. No, but it's just like, but it wasn't like. The, the stuff in the horror genre that comes out now, though, it's like the most popular genre. Like, it's crazy. Like, when we watched horror movies, like, yeah. it wasn't like that. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. You have whole production companies, you know, mm -hmm. kind of sprouting up off of the success of, you know, small indie horror movies. It, it's so crazy. You know, looking at Reginald the Vampire on sci-fi, you look at this, you look at the blend of the the laughing like the laughing aspects the comedy you look at the gore you look at the you know supernatural component of it do you notice this big blend of all these elements like when you're reading the scripts of this as well like early on oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah no um even just the writing on the show it's uh really witty you know <laughs> if you get the joke great if you don't it still flows on so many different you know parallel levels yeah where um <laughs> It's like you're watching a few shows in one, yep. which if it makes sense. It does. Absolutely. I love that. You get the joke. Great, great. If you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That, yeah. I enjoyed that. That was awesome. Um, what were those conversations like with the cast, specifically with Jacob, with a lot kind of happening? I mean, your character is kind of like <laughs> the one that just <laughs> starts it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we're working with working with Jacob is obviously a blast. You yeah, know? Um, the chemistry there, we, I lucked out. You know, yeah. uh, it was kind of like I, I didn't have to act to be friends. We we're already friends. So yeah, we were really no, absolutely. Friends, you know, when do you know like how important your character is to the whole kind of like arc of a lot of these characters and a lot of the story? Like, is it early on? Be like, oh man, like this is I'm like one of the guys that just leads everything. Like, do you? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, you know, when in the auditioning process, um, you kind of have a sense when it says lead, like yeah, you'll yeah. be, you know, in there quite a bit, but it, it all depends, you know, you can get killed off. There's things like that, which happen. So um, I believe after getting maybe the first two scripts, I'm like, okay, wow, I'm, I'm really in here. And yeah. um, it didn't seem like I was dying anytime soon. So I was like, <laughs> I'm already dead. Like, <laughs> you think I'll be good, you know? Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's awesome. And then even filming, being there on set and allowing the chemistry and, and the real life elements of acting and, and storytelling to take place. And then having the showrunners, the writers, the creatives, the directors there 
in those same rooms experiencing that as well watching how that influences their writing yeah for future episodes and how they even go back and do rewrites it's it's really it's really awesome to be a part of a show at that level you know absolutely it's really cool to also see like you kind of said the paths that a lot of these characters kind of take and seeing kind of the right in the beginning of the interview you said like the writing and everything and i totally agree with you on everything what is your favorite thing specifically about your character that we've seen kind of so far like from seeing it from the script transformed on the screen mandela i think what i like most about playing maurice and well my just my favorite part about the maurice character yep. is the depth you know mm -hmm. he's got so much range and so much storytelling that could happen in the span of even before he was a vampire and then all that time from when he meets reginald after being turned and we see little bits of flashbacks here and there but yeah. i think the the kind of mythology that's going into it and just i like the, the origin story yeah there's so many things that i've thought of in my head that kind of just um that's the right word for this kind of lend themselves to how I would play a scene, mm -hmm. but we never discuss it on camera. We never see those choices I make. Mm -hmm. So it'd be interesting to know, you know, all the, all the backstory that could be there. I think it's, it's fun to play a vampire, man. They're around for so long. you know. I know, but like, it's just crazy because there's such a, there's such an appeal for that stuff right now, specifically in the vampire um stuff why do you think the vampire like vampire culture and a lot of that is so popular do you think it's because like you said they've been around for a while so people are very interested like that content hits big time these days i would say for a lot of these kind of global things mm -hmm. mythologies where it's past that point of like okay everybody knows about this yeah let's say like mermaids vampires there's a couple things that I feel play into that. I yeah. think multiple cultures, quite a few, a lot of cultures actually have stories mm -hmm. of things pertaining to either a mermaid. So it's like, okay, well, why are they writing about a mermaid and them too and them too? Or why is this guy drinking blood? And we're writing about vampires in Transylvania and we can see this in Africa. So there's some kind of, you know, history there that we're not too sure of, you know, mm -hmm. maybe, uh, I don't know. I think any good scary story has to have a little bit of truth, you know, a little bit of something that that could make it scary. A hundred. No, absolutely. It is. It's so it's so crazy. I, I feel like the it's crazy to think, though, about stuff that's like based on source material, though, like at the at any time, like I feel ad adaptation stress me out. Just thinking about it because you have all this, like, yeah, exactly. You have all this source material. It's like, what gets brought to the screen? What doesn't? You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know how they do with all the superhero stuff. Like, there is like catalogs of like characters oh, yeah. that show up for one issue and they've thrown them in. Like, you know what I mean? By that, it's stressful yeah. thinking about that. <laughs> it's a lot. And <laughs> when you're on these productions, you really, it's, it's like you have sometimes 100, 200, 300 people who care about the same project. Yeah. And, and they're working at a professional level. So that's how it's all getting done. You know, when you think of it in terms of piecemeal, like, oh, this is so much stuff. It's like, yeah, but when you split it up to 300 people who are like, yeah, I'd rather do this than be at a desk, you know, like they're devoted to making basically our story because yeah. everybody has, uh, has a part, you know, the, the set design people, the wardrobe people, everybody wants to make it the best they can. So. Absolutely. I mean, storytelling, you know, runs in your family. You're, you're like, your family members are storytellers as well. Um, is it, would you say kind of seeing a lot of things, like seeing sets at a young age and being exposed, is that kind of what made you want to be into it the most? Like at a really young age, would you say? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I am. Um, Did it feel always... like you had no choice almost? Because you were like all in <laughs> I, I definitely had a choice. Yeah, you know, I, yeah, did, yeah. I did. I did. I graduated college. Yeah. So I had a degree. I tried a regular job for <laughs> the biweekly period till I got my paycheck, and I was like, "Oh, oh no, thank you." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but but I always knew um, something in the arts for me. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's about you know, 
if I can, if I can have a job that doesn't feel like work, mm -hmm. then am I really, you I know? meant the no choice also, by the way, just more of like, if you see it all, you're like, oh man, like, cause you see it, oh, you yeah, had opportunities no. to see it head on. Yeah. Right. So you're like, oh man, this is what exactly. I want to do. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, going all traveling so much as a kid and most of that being related to my dad's work or something yeah. like that. And getting to hang out with him and whether it's Tokyo because his movie's releasing there. Or I'm like, wow, we get to do all this fun stuff and it's your job. <laughs> you know, uh, I want yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. I want that for me. Um, before we wrap up, you know, Reginald, the vampire on sci-fi, they could check that out. When they get a chance to watch the show, Mandela, what are you hoping they'll get out of it? Takeaway wise. There's a lot of play here, but anything specific? Oh man. Uh, it's 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 kind of like we talked about, you know. There's, I think Reginald does a great job of of having a very entertaining show to watch, mm -hmm. but also having really good messages in there. Yeah. Um, so it really, you know, the takeaway can be whatever you whatever you can. It's as much as you can soak up, really. Yeah. You can watch it and and be like, that was hilarious. You can watch it and be like, wow, that says a lot about our culture right now and the zeitgeist about a lot of different things you know so it depends on how deep you want to get i would say just watch it the genre it's bending like component. what do you sci-fi what do you think specifically about genre bending like i don't think like especially the days of your dad making movies i don't think people yeah. woke up and were like oh i want to make like a genre yeah. bending comedy. like i don't like now i feel like it's a trend like you know how like hot sauce is really big and everything you know what i mean yeah. like but like I don't think I, th I feel like it's like it wasn't premeditated back in the day. Like it just happened. Yeah, I think it's kind of just I don't know. The, the industry is evolving, you know, yeah. and we want to see new stories and kind of a, a, a way to do that is mix up the genres a bit and, yeah. and have those those. You know, it's kind of like I like to think of it as like. Um, a fusion kind of meal like a korean taco or yeah. something like that you know it's it's not what you're used to but it, it could slap <laughs> that's the best slap. i love that the food <laughs> comparison is the best yeah yes yeah. that was awesome mandela thank you so much for joining me on pop turtle it was so great chatting with you man oh man thanks for having me it was a it's it good time reginald the vampire on sci-fi you have an instagram account i feel like that's the best way people can keep up to date with everything right yeah yeah i, I, I don't really use socials too much but uh my instagram is mandela van people it's there yeah, I know. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well this has been pop turner youtube.com slash pop turner for previous episodes catch mandela van people says maurice in reginald the vampire on sci-fi until next time it says mandela and pd beats signing off awesome thank you pete thank you for tuning in to pop turn it Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.